Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus through Sign series. This is for Venus in Aquarius. So these are birth chart readings. Um, if your Venus is in Aquarius when you were born, these messages are for you and it can also apply if you have Aquarius as your seventh house. So this is not the transiting Venus, this is for birth chart Venus. So um, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, so let's go ahead and begin here. We have the central issue, heart of the matter, as the five of pentacles. We have the five of swords. We have the page of cups. We have the five of wands. The Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Oh, also, you guys, um, please uh, email me if you're looking to book your personal or private reading. Payments are collected on Fridays. My email address is in the description box below. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, that's a, diff a different process. So. Um, make sure you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications when I'm taking live phone calls. And um, if you want to support my Patreon, that information is also down below. So central issue here with the Five of Pentacles looks as if you guys are feeling left out. Um, I feel like both of these indicate that there need to be some sort of changes or adjustments made in order to have love. Matter of fact, you got three fives out. I don't know if you've been seeing 55 or 555, um, but that could be preparing you for some sort of changes or shifts that's getting ready to take place. But it also just overall speaks to me about um, um, ego and pride. Like someone has too much ego or too much pride to uh, admit that they like or have feelings for you or that they're thinking about you um, someone just rather take that to their grave or rather just be silent uh, about it or just feel like they're just missing out and it's like I can't like I just cannot bring myself up to express what I'm thinking or feeling so I also feel that there is a situation where Maybe someone has been trying to get your attention, but you have just been ignoring their offers and just kind of standing back like um, you need to do better than that. Um, this also might go the other way around, like someone feels like you could do better with your efforts. I also feel like someone like this is also miscommunication like someone is not approaching you correctly or if someone does have have feelings it's like you would never know almost like someone is expecting you to know something or to read their minds and it's like how am I supposed to know so I feel like there is conflict and I feel like there is frustration when it comes to, um, you know, people expressing what they're feeling. Excuse me, if there's no one that you're dealing with, then this just might be your energy dealing with some sort of inner work, um, still getting over a breakup. I, I feel like there could be either a sense of envy or bitterness within you. Um, hmm, and maybe it's unintentional. I'm getting like irritation, you know, like <laughs> when you hear positive things or you see positive messages, but you haven't seen it yet. So you just kind of, you're like, bah, humbug type of energy. Like, yeah, right. You know, I believe it when I see it's a uh, universe or, you know, I just kind of feel like there is some sort of frustration or irritation and maybe even a loss of faith or a loss of hope. Now I see a couple of changes happening. Like I, at one point I feel that something does happen where you get an energy boost or an ego boost or your confidence comes back, especially if you feel 
like you had lost your confidence or you lost a sense of pride um, or you had to eat some humble pie. Like something happens where now you are going to come back out on top. <clears throat> and you may be feeling more confident to go after what you want or just more confident in yourself. There even could be a situation where people are competing for your attention. Um, and it's just like, oh, wait, one minute. Nobody um, noticed when I walked into a room. Now, you know, this month, everybody is trying to get my attention. Like, what is this? So I kind of feel like something of that matter could be happening. There is something deceptive going on, especially maybe in regards to followers. Like either you are following someone quietly or posing as someone else or this is flipped. But there is some sort of deceptive or snooping energy going on. Someone may be secretly competing, secretly competing for the same person or someone is secretly pursuing you. Like the way they pursue you is very ninja-like for whatever reason. Um, like someone doesn't want you to know that you're being pursued by them. Or they kind of do want to get caught like someone is leaving some sort of smoke signals or they're dropping hints because something is a game to them or something is fun to them. Hmm. I feel like you guys are also trying to preoccupy yourself, um, making changes in your lifestyle, changes in your routine, changes in, um, oh, I almost said password. Some of you might need to change your password, especially with this Seven of Swords energy. Especially, yeah, like your work password, password something may need to be changed. Now, uh, some like I was saying, you may be trying to preoccupy yourself um, and not focus so much on your love life, especially if nothing is happening. Um, even though you are trying not to focus on love, I feel like something is happening that you're unaware of or you are intentionally trying to ignore someone. Hmm. Someone is acting very clever or trying to be very clever or coy in their approach. Like someone is sliding in your DMs like every day. Um, man. Now, we also have 7-7 seven, seven coming out. So I don't know if that number is significant for you or not. Yeah, so for some of you, someone's definitely leaving clues and hints and indirect messages. Um, you might be constantly, you might be bored by it or you might have grown used to something so you don't really give it too much energy. There is someone that may be coming towards you that could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe even Aquarius or something begins Aquarius season. Hmm. I also feel like someone has a very unusual way of expressing their feelings. Like someone likes to be distant to show that they're interested. Or someone likes to play mind games. Like that's a very bizarre love language. Um, that's a very bizarre love language. But I am getting someone has a very unusual sense of humor. Or an unusual way of their approach. Um, okay so I get someone too who may also come off as very jealous. Very possessive. 
um, very intense. I'm seeing someone get it, getting triggered. Like you may be unaware that someone is watching you every day, every single day and watching your um, interactions with other people. Mm. I'm getting someone that maybe has black hair and dark features, like maybe dark eyebrows, maybe um, maybe a beard or a mustache and goatee. Like I, I see facial hair for a guy. Female, I'm seeing someone that maybe has dark hair and someone who has a mean look. Someone looks like maybe they're mean mugging. Um, hmm, someone who acts very serious. There's someone that maybe wants to, maybe someone who is wanting to possess you or control you or who views you as someone that belongs to them because I'm getting like some strong, intense energy. Someone maybe has not moved on or someone has not let go. So I don't know if you're still uh, holding on to someone or if someone's holding on to you. I'm also getting that someone is at a distance. Someone lives far away. You may dream about this person or you feel like this person sends you messages in your dreams. There could also be a sense of telepathy between the two of you. So whenever you're thinking of them, you end up getting a message from them and vice versa. Matter of fact, and I talked about it in another reading where sometimes when you have a telepathic connection with someone is so intense or so strong to the, po to the point where it feels like you're being spied on or watched. Um, and that might be like what's happening here. Like maybe you kind of feel this person's energy or it feels like someone's spying on you because every time you think of them, it never fails. It's like you get a notification or a message from them or you see their name um, or you're checking their social media and they're posting something very similar to what you just posted. So it's something very strange or unusual about this love connection. Um, if you're if you're in a relationship, you guys may be calling it quits or deciding to move on. Maybe you already planned on on leaving the person, but you hadn't really told them or maybe that is what their intentions are. I feel like there's been a lot of uh, bickering or disagreements. It's like you guys don't see on the same page. I feel like you know, there, there's a lot of defense, um, people being defensive and guarded, blocking, blocking each other. If you are getting ready to enter a new relationship, I feel like maybe someone is coming out of a separation or coming out of some sort of codependent relationship and they are now ready to be independent or ready to be free from that energy. Someone also may be letting their guards down or there may be a need for you to let your guards down um, in order to have new love. There needs to be transparency as well. I feel like someone is wanting to be very open and very vulnerable. Someone wants you to see them uh, completely nude. They're like, I need you to know who I am. I need you to know this about me. I need you to know that about me. And they're praying that you will accept them for who they are. Because I feel like whoever you're connecting to has some sort of unusual ways or you, these are, the, these are your thoughts. Maybe you have some very unusual ways that you're praying that someone will be um, accepting of. And you're like, you know, this is who I am. You know, this is you standing firm on your beliefs. And so, you know, if they don't, then they have to move on. If they do, 
you know, good. That's what you're hoping for. Um, I, I see wish fulfillment for you guys. Um, I feel that whatever it is that you've been praying for or wishing for, spirit is going to give it to you. You're going to receive it. Just be patient. I feel like changes are on the way or something um, significant could be getting ready to happen. Um, and especially around Aquarius season. So that's between January the 20th, I think, or January 19th through February 19th. Um, you are, you also have been maybe prepared for this person that is coming towards you at a distance. <clears throat> now, also with the devil, not only is this, you know, like some sort of karmic debt that maybe need to be repaid, but this person is, um, this person is um, going to be a reflect a reflection of something that is within you. So always keep that in mind. But someone needs help. I'm seeing someone taking care of someone. Um, and I know you guys are going to be like, well, I don't want to take care of anybody. What about me? Um, which is fine. You know, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just reading the energies that I'm getting from the cards. So I'm getting the energy of someone who needs some sort of help or assistance. And it's like you do need to set boundaries because I feel like if you don't set boundaries with this person, they'll just continue to take and take and take. So don't let someone just drain you of all your energy. Speaking of energy, if you guys have been feeling really tired as of late, it very well could be because someone is latched into your energy field and they're draining you of your resources. This is someone who is um, maybe daydreaming or uh, thinking about you or trying to manifest you. Someone might be heavily already in your energy and is, is, is pulling you down or making you tired. And you need to take breaks and replenish from that energy. If you're single, the person coming towards you may also be a handful. So be prepared. There may be a sense of betrayal or there may be a situation where... There's more than one person involved. You may need to make some sort of decision. Uh, regardless, I see a soul contract coming up for you guys. There is a need to have forgiveness. There is a need for patience. This is something that was meant to be. I feel like something is coming off as law like the this is the law this is something this is how it works this is how the law of karma works so like i was saying about this the um like you healing or helping someone um it could be because they helped or healed you in a previous life and now you're just repaying that debt um so you might have some sort of unlimited resources um, maybe it's your information. Maybe you have um, just a lending ear. Maybe it's a sense of nurturing. Maybe it's something. I don't know what it is, but it may indicate that you have something that they need and you have unlimited resources of it. I still say set boundaries. If this, regardless, if this is some sort of spiritual contract or lessons, like there's still a need to set uh, boundaries. Now, someone's going to be very jealous of this relationship. I see a situation where something comes off competitive. So let's say, for instance, the person you are involved with has children. Let's say you guys just got married later on down the line and you became a legal guardian. I almost feel like there, you, something would be challenged by law. So, like the baby's mom, maybe she would be challenging that. 
um, or, you know, just doing things to cause friction or um, something disheartening in a relationship. And then when I was saying earlier, there could be something that there's something secretive or some sort of betrayal type energy going on. Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I almost feel like maybe someone, if they're traveling, if they travel for a living, like someone may end up doing something that they have no business doing while they're traveling, especially if it has to do with an ex. Um, I also get the energy of someone who is trying to finalize a divorce. So someone may be finalizing a divorce or a separation or making something official. Yeah, something will be officially ending. But this person is still going to be in their lives. So I feel like I need to reiterate that whoever you're getting involved with still has some baggage. Like somebody is still legally obligated to be a part of their life and it's probably because of children or maybe they share a business. Um, I also get a possibility of an ex returning for some of you. A lot of times I see this as an ex coming back into the picture and wanting to make amends, wanting to make things right. Um, so if you were dealing with an, uh, a fire sign, it's possible that you and the fire sign will come to some sort of agreement or maybe there's a need to forgive one another or maybe it's just a matter of forgiving one another before you can move on and separate and go your separate ways so those are the messages uh, I hope it makes sense feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you